Hi everyone, Divya Pandit here. So here we start with the next zodiac sign that is Scorpio. Scorpio 2022 July. Let's see what we have. Scorpios are feeling a little low and emotional. Okay. I feel that they are a little frustrated with what they need to do, what they don't need to do. Okay. Work is happening but it's not a very pleasant situation. Okay. First week, second week, third week and fourth week. Okay. I think Scorpios are a little emotionally disappointed in their life. They feel that um, somewhere whatever love and affection they have for people and people are not giving it back. The Scorpios, it's all about self-love. Go inside a few, check what you need to change about yourself. That will really help. The first week is all about balance. Balance. So balancing money, balancing to jobs, balancing a lot of money, 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 money. Okay, so maybe there will be some kind of expenditure, but then money will be balanced again. Maybe you will take money from here, put here, you know, that sort of a thing that we do. So you're balancing. Possibly you're balancing two kind of work also. Okay, the second week is all about generosity. Maybe you are being generous to your children. You're being generous to, you know, people around you, your friends. So you will be working on your generosity. Generosity, ge somewhere you need to. I think there will be a lot of expenditure, but that will not be a very stressful expenditure. It looks like a more happy expenditure. Okay. And the third week. Third week is all about being an alchemist. You're balancing. Again, the whole month is about balancing for Scorpios. You're balancing your life, your emotions very well so that you can move forward. So Scorpios know how to balance their emotions. Okay. And they are doing it very, very well. They are doing... Their work also and they are also balancing their relationships. So it's all about balancing. And the fourth week is all about offers. So somewhere, someone younger to you will come with an offer of money, of uh, some opportunity. Something that someone will want to invest with you. Okay. So the first week is about balance. The second week is about generosity. The third week is again balancing. And the fourth week is about offers that are coming your way. Offers might be small. Money might be small, but please take it because it's going to be fruitful. Okay? So never think small uh, opportunities are not fruitful. They are. Let's see what we have in relationship for Scorpio. Scorpios are coming together with someone in relationship in the month of July. I feel that... Uh, I feel that Scorpios, what you need to do, like any other zodiac sign needs to do in the month of July, is to believe, is to listen, see the signs of the universe, whether the universe is going to send you signs that this person is the perfect person for you. If you have this person or this person is going to come in your life in the month of July. Okay. This person is perfect for you. This person is going to love you. or Maybe you'll have a best relationship in the future. Okay. That is what you need to do. But to listen, you need to go inside. You need to breathe. You need to acknowledge your inner child issues. You need to uh, work on your spiritual side. Okay. And the problem is that also a blog that you're shining too much. I feel that maybe you're a popular person. Maybe you're on social media. Maybe you're someone who people look at. So possibly this person who will come in your life might be a little intimidated with that. But it's not a major problem. That's one of the problems. Okay. One of the problems. But this person is definitely whoever the soulmate of yours is coming together with you in the month of July. You're coming together in... In some kind of um, beautiful relationship where this person is going to stand by you or maybe help you uh, be a better person, acknowledge love, believe in love, uh, believe in relationship because this is a very strongly karmic relationship. Okay, and the balance you need to strike is to work on your sacral chakra, which is very important because Scorpio receiving is all about love and money and everything, intimacy, 
you need to work on your love receiving because you have forgotten how to receive love so work on your receiving because somebody in your life is coming to love you and make you believe in love and if you are already married in a relationship possibly your relationship is going to turn into a beautiful one okay so that's a beautiful reading scorpios let's see what we have as a fairy message possibly there could be a reconciliation also in the month of july for scorpios solitude okay think of being alone is meaning you are all alone and in total harmony with everything the greatest treasures are that that we are silently doing quiet times okay so possibly uh, this is more like a hermit card okay possibly that uh, being alone means take time off go within yourself just take time off maybe go away from your home or sit in meditation just talk to yourself go inside of you maybe you're feeling alone maybe that a uh, lonely loneliness inside of you is saying something you know i'll tell you something when there is a void inside of you okay i always have good results with voids when i am not well like i was unwell uh, last year in covid and i was not doing well in my life and i was separated alone i was sitting to myself and i was thinking a lot and after that when i was thinking and i was feeling that void that emptiness inside me i created more i created better i created a lot of good things okay so don't think that loneliness is a bad thing we have to use that loneliness in a good way so learn how to use your void learn how to use your loneliness so that you can make your relationships better think contemplate so take time off think experience your void that is what your fairies are saying and then come out with a beautiful creative self okay scorpios and definitely your relationship which is going to happen in the month of july your this taking time off is going to help in that all right nice to be loneliness always is not bad sometimes you should feel a little lonely all right so please subscribe to my channel press the bell icon and follow me on twitter instagram and facebook email me for paid appointments only so that you can whatsapp me your name city and country and we will get back to you that's all for today goodbye god bless bye 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 bye